please welcome, have a seat. You're going to love your hypnosis session. Now, get comfortable, relax. As you know, I am one of the most highly respected hypnotherapists in the country. I'm so glad that you chose to join me for this session. I will make sure that you are in good hands. Now simply relax, take it easy and look into my eyes. You are discovering that you cannot move. You are discovering that your mind is a complete blank. You are wholly at my whim. Now, let me properly introduce myself. My name is Mesmero. Now, I have a boring human name, but when you have the mutant ability to hypnotize anyone simply by making eye contact, well, why would you go by anything other than Mesmero? Now, what we are going to do is help you. <laughs> I know a part of your mind is simply screaming right now, thinking, Mesmero, oh no, he's worked with Magneto. He's a dastardly fellow. Well, that is technically true. I must tell you that my favorite adventure was when I happened to capture a young Jean Grey. You might know her as Marvel Girl. Now, this young Jean Grey, unbeknownst to me, had recently gotten a power up, shall we say, in that she was imbued by a cosmic entity known as the Phoenix Force. Now, I was able to use my hypnotic powers, look her in the eye and say, Jean Grey, your will is mine. And I captured her and forced her to come back to my lair to do my bidding. But whenever she tried, whenever I tried to make her do other things that I wished, she began to break free most inconvenient. So instead, I used her as a battery. I used her to amp my powers to the nth degree, and I waltzed right into the Xavier Mansion. And using my powers one by one, I captured the X-Men using that steel fellow as a battering ram to begin taking out the others. There was only one very annoying one, that young little scrapper called Wolverine. His berserker rage allowed him to fight off my mesmerism, and I had to seek sick the entire rest of the X-Men on him. They were beating him senseless. Finally, I had them stop. And when he was about to break free, even his incredible healing factor could not keep up. And he collapsed unconscious. Now, I was presented with a problem. Whatever was I going to do? I had just done what no other supervillain had ever done. I had defeated the X-Men, and I didn't have a clue what to do with them. But that is when I saw a poster in the room of the blue fellow. What was his name? Oh, yes, Nightcrawler. And it was him swinging from tra trapezes. 
that's when I had my perfect revenge. One by one, I wiped their memories and made them each circus performers or circus workers. <laughs> I was making a tidy profit off their abilities and knowing that they would despise what they had become. Unfortunately, this other blue fellow known as Beast discovered what was happening and was causing all sorts of chaos in my new order. And even him, even him, I would have been able to defeat if there hadn't been the tiniest little problem. And that is that Magneto had come and he wanted the X-Men all to himself. How annoying is that? Using his master in magnetism knocked me unconscious. In fact, if you can believe it, he tossed me out of a caravan flying above the Earth's atmosphere. Now, fortunately, he didn't wish to kill me, so I landed, I might say, quite painfully to the ground, but losing all that I had accomplished during that time. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, the very small part of yourself that is not obeying my every whim, why am I telling you all of this? It's because I'm bored. See, what I realized is that using my incredible mental powers, I can simply make people not see that I am green and instead become a hypnotherapist. Now, the only problem is I could have you sit down and in two shakes of a lamb tail, point my incredible vision at you and say, you will do as I bid. You will stop smoking. You will stop cheating on your wife. You will stop overeating. I could do all of those things in an instant. But if no time passed, it would look suspicious to the others out in the waiting room. So I am forced to kill time. Now, of course, when I am done, I will wipe your memory and your problems will be miraculously cured by hypnotherapy. Now, let's do a quick test. Raise up your left arm. I said, raise up your left arm. Why are you not obeying my every command? I am Mesmero. Oh, it would seem you are some kind of life model decoy that you are in fact a robot. This is most inconvenient. Are you going to kill me? Oh good, I'm glad to hear it. So, you have been sent by the brothers and sister known as Furnace to request my assistance. Well, I must give you props, as they say, for sending this robot so that I did not make you either balk like a dog or leap out the window to your death. Yes, I do see the laser pistol in the hand of your life model decoy. I will be happy to comply with your requests if you will not kill me. I am sure we can come to some sort of arrangement. Very well, I will just have my secretary cancel all of my other appointments for the day. I now serve Furnace and here to do your bidding. What would you have of me, Furnace? Your will 
is mine to command. I am looking right into your soul, and the mind of Mesmero tells you you must subscribe to Role Play Riot and then watch another hypnosis video. I command you to enjoy it.